Have you ever written a letter to a home seller in hopes that they would accept your offer, that your letter would sway their opinion or maybe even make you stand out in a sea of other offers? Hey everyone, so today we're gonna talk all about writing the home seller a letter as the buyer with the hopes that it may sway their opinion and they'll accept your offer. So is this a good idea? Is it a bad idea? Does it help? Does it harm? We're gonna talk about it. Typically, I'm just gonna cut to the chase here. Typically, I would advise you to not write a letter. So there's gonna be a couple of takeaways. The first one is this. Real estate deals are almost always emotional. So remember this, real estate is emotional and it shouldn't be, but it typically is. It should just be like a business transaction, right? I mean, you're spending a lot of money, but somehow, some way, our emotions tend to get involved, right? They creep in. So the reason that I tell you, I don't think it's a good idea is because if you have given away your deepest desires to live in this home to the seller, then they've got you, right? They've got you by your heartstrings. They know that you're a sucker for this home. And then they know that maybe you're gonna overlook a couple of things that happen along the way in the transaction. So remember this, this is the second takeaway. In the state of Texas, I can't speak for other places, but in our state, we have got three negotiation periods. The first one is going to be the initial offer. So most of the time when people are sending one of these letters, they're sending it with the initial offer. Well, we still have to get through the inspection period. You still have to get through the appraisal period and you may have to make some tough negotiations then. So if you absolutely must send a letter, and I know of people doing it and it working out great for them, but if you must do it, I would say to wait till you get to one of those next negotiation periods. Now, um, the other situation where I would say do it, I would feel more comfortable, would be if it's a multiple offer situation. But if it's just some home sitting on the market and there aren't other offers on the table, I would not run the risk. So the next takeaway is this. So if you are going to write a letter, you first of all want to have your agent do a little poking around. You want him or her to reach out to the other side, reach out to the listing agent, and try to find out a little bit more about the seller and their situation. You may have them ask, why are they selling? What's their motivation to move? What's their timeline to move? So if you have a seller that's just put their home on the market because the market is good and they just kind of want to see what happens, they're not in any rush. Uh, then I would definitely not be writing that letter at least right off the bat. So you really want to do a little a little investigation on the seller and their situation before you put yourself out there in the form of a letter. So three takeaways. Real estate is emotional. Try to control your emotions because again, it's a business deal. Number two would be in the state of Texas, we have three negotiation periods. So you definitely want to try to hold off on your letter until maybe the second or the third one. And then the last one would be, if you absolutely must write a letter, get your realtor to reach out to the listing agent and try to find out the seller's motivation in selling. So that is it for today. I know it's been a while since I've posted a video, but I really appreciate y'all watching and I will see y'all again next week. Bye.